up, everybody? This is Marissa from Bloodlines. I work at NAM 2020 in Anaheim, California, and I am here with Matt Perrin of Angel Maker. What's up? <laughs> I'm doing good. How are you? Really good. Thanks for meeting us here in front, Thank of, you. Uh, in front of Comparison uh, Guitars. Yeah. Um, and you just wanted to start with the questions here. Um, sure. So you were here last year and did a demo with yeah. uh, Neural DSP booth using the Ford and Amps yeah. uh, NTS3. Um, around the time when recording the new recording for the new record was being done, are you currently using Gordon Amps, NTS, and for tour? Um, I'm not currently. Um, I kind of switch it up between tours. So depending on what our time slots are, I either bring a full rig, which is my Rev generator 120, uh, or I'll use my Axe FX, which is like an Axe 8 floorboard unit. Right. Um, and then with my pedals for when I use like a head and cab, I use Aris FX pedals. Oh wow, excellent. Yeah. And so when, when, when did you begin play, uh, playing Aristides guitars and what was the selling point for you in choosing this brand? So yeah, I, I started playing them probably around, I would say 2016. Um, and they're great, they're completely different than any other guitar I've played. Them in comparison are both so different from each other. So that's why I like having both of those in kind of my touring rig and live rig and even recording, I use a ton of different guitars to just get the tones that I want. Excellent. So, yeah. I'm glad to hear that. I'm yeah. a really big fan of the new of the new album, so that was definitely a question that I wanted to hear about. Thank you. And but also when you joined um, when you joined Angel Maker, yeah. were there any major or necessary changes to make to your gear for that unique sound? Yeah, I, I tried to dial in more of a uh, aggressive sounding tone. Uh -huh. um, so with Threat Signal, it's more of uh, I guess proggy kind of sounding metal and it's more big choruses and stuff like that. With Angel Maker it's a lot of very aggressive sounding like breakdowns and different sounding leads and stuff so I tried to uh, make my leads and rhythm tones more geared towards that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, awesome. Well, I mean as a seasoned guitar player what is important for you uh, for your guitar build? For my guitar build? Yeah. Um, so for me I like having uh, just a very simple guitar that I don't have to mess with much. I'm a big fan of Floyd Rose. Um, I like having the stability of the locking like mechanisms for it. And um, I like having one volume knob, a humbucker, um, either two humbuckers for it or right. like a humbucker single coil. Okay. So very simplistic. And same with like my amps and everything. I like everything to be very simple. So then if something goes wrong, I can just figure it out very easily. Oh, wow. Excellent. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, we're getting to our final question here. Yeah. And, you know, like when I get you to enjoy the rest of the show. Yeah, sure. Um, and for those watching, um, what is your current rig setup for recording and for live? Like guitar strings, pickups, pedals, preamps? Yeah. So for currently live, I'm using comparison guitars. Um, I'm just using the stock pickups. All my guitars are what you would see here, um, just off the shelf. They're great live, they're super stable. Um, Live-wise, I kind of bounce between having my rev head and my Axe 8 unit. And then for the last album we did, we used a Bogner Ubershawl, a, uh, a, it was like a modded uh, tube screamer for like the leads and everything like that. So. Let's kind of change it up to see what we could do. So we're kind of always reinventing ourselves that way. Oh, that's excellent. Love yeah. to hear that. Yeah. Well, is there anything that we can expect for you and Angel Maker after NAM coming up? Yeah, probably going to be touring at some point this year. Uh, just kind of figuring out what offers we want to do. And yeah. uh, we're going to be working on new music, probably an EP or something around uh, this year, later in the year. So That makes me really excited, <laughs> actually. But I do hope to hey, uh, see you guys back in New York City. Um, we saw you back uh, a little while back. Well, back in 2017 when we missed the last one so i'm excited for you guys to come back yeah we're uh, excited to come back too absolutely. <laughs> guys uh, check out angel maker's new record um uh, available now and i'm with matt perrin from angel maker this is marissa we'll see you next time